Hi students, welcome. Welcome to uh, Summer 2012 ISDS 2000 Business Statistics. I'm going to be your instructor. My name is Dr. Joan McGrory. You can call me Dr. Joan. Um, and I know that classes don't start until next week if you're following your college calendar. They start May 29th. Uh, but I wanted to touch base with you prior to classes starting so that you can get on your marks and get ready and be ready to begin on the first day of class. Um, our summer semester is only 10 weeks. It is the extended summer semester. Uh, the 10 weeks will go by very quickly and you have a lot to do between now and August when we'll finish up. Right? So I wanted to help you kind of get uh, ready for that. Uh, let me tell you my keys to success. I started out, and uh, if I can get back over here, and I said, let me talk about three websites, and then I realized I had two more uh, if you want to go ahead and get started. So um, let me just kind of begin with those. First of all, I know that many of you are concerned about textbook information and what you need for your syllabus. So let me begin by talking about this. In the email that I send you, I am going to include um, a link to this syllabus. I post the syllabus on my faculty website. It's a bright green right now for summer. And as you look down through here, uh, in the summer we do not have any uh, what I would call traditional or on-campus classes. We do have the online class section. I make the syllabus available to you in the web page, but some students like to uh, print the, the website uh, or print the website, print the syllabus. If you don't have Word, you might want to look at it as a uh, PDF file. Let me click on PDF here, and I'm going to open this as a PDF. Um, what you have here is my contact information, uh, the objectives to the course, but if you'll scroll down, notice that it says required text information. Okay. First thing that I want you to see is that you have more than one option here. I'm presenting all those options. Okay, um, the best option is to go to the college bookstore where they have everything you need bundled into one single package. You just simply buy that and you're good to go. Now the really you know things that you must have uh, are the the textbook, of course. Now as an online student, especially, you might be interested in an ebook. That is an option, but you also will need access access to a system called Connect. This is not a free system. Uh, in the book bundle that you can get at the bookstore, you'll find um, an access card which has a code on it, and that code gets you into the website. Okay, So uh, you can look at, at that. Now, there, uh, there's also something called Tegrity. This is a video capture system for lecture, and um, once upon a time, this was an extra purchase. Consequently, you might see that, that uh, there is a Tegrity Access card in your book bundle. However, our campus recently bought a license for that, and so now we have access to that inside of the PAUSE system. I'm going through this quickly. But I certainly believe that you can go through and read this syllabus. I'm going to give you the, the link uh, more slowly. Okay. So the big things that you need are your textbook and access to the Connect system. And, and all this information, including your other options, are there for you uh, in the syllabus. And so please take a moment uh, and read through that. Okay. Now, as I talk about this Connect system that you need access to, you must go to a very specific website. If you've ever used Connect in the past, for this class in a, in a different section, for an intro to business class, for any other class that you've taken, that website is not the one that you need. And you must have access to our class and to this particular website. Now, I will email you this link. But this is the link, and here's what I want to point out to you. McGraw-Hill controls this very first part of the web address, connect.mcgraw-hill.com forward slash class forward slash. The unique part that's different for every class is this last part. And for us, it's going to be 2012 Summer Online. So if you want to go ahead and get set up and get familiar with Connect so that you can get started, uh, what I would encourage you to do is I'm going to send you this uh, website uh, in an email. But go to your web browser. Let me open up a new tab here. 
and I just did a copy and paste, okay, to make sure that I had that correct. And this is what the site is going to look like. There it is. Okay, now um, I have already registered. So if you use your Connect Access co code card and you register, um, you do that one time, and then after that, you're going to be able to log in. But listen to me, listen to me. You will not be able to log in until you pay for that access. So um, come down here to where it says Register Now. And if you have one of those access cards, or if you have a credit card and you plan to pay for your access online, you can just simply click the Register Now button. If you want to know what that registration process is going to look like, you can start over here where it says Need Help Registering. There's going to be a series of, of uh, or a short little video. It's very self-explanatory. You just go through that process. And like I said, you have, if you bought your book bundle from the bookstore, you have an access code card. You can, especially if you're repeating the class, you can buy that access code card separately and, um, you know, and register into this particular section. Before you register, verify that you are in the correct class. It should say not just 2012, it should say summer. If it says spring, if it says fall, you're in the wrong section. If it says management 1000, that's not the class you're taking. Make sure that you're in ISDS 2000. Coming at you kind of hard on that because I routinely get students that do all this work in a um, calculus class and and then what do we do so make sure that you're going to get into this right section okay now uh, if you're going to buy access online again notice that you can do that just need a credit card okay so that's going to help you get started All right so you can read the syllabus I'm going to send you the link to that you can go ahead and get set up in Connect so that you're comfortable with that, okay? And then you probably want to get a feel for what kind of assignments do I have due, I'm planning on going to the lake, or I've got family commitments and jobs and things, you know, uh, my kids are in events or whatever. I certainly understand that. And the best students, the most successful students, are those students who sit down and really put together um, a, a calendar of events. I mean, you may be taking more than one class, and so you need to kind of put all those due dates together so that you realize that if you need to finish something early, does that sound weird? People do it. That's how they succeed. If you need to finish something early, you can do that. Now, let me tell you how I'm going to assist you with that. Remember this website? I said it was the bright green, uh, and it contained the link to the syllabus. Well, down here at the bottom, uh, and I'm going to send you this link, not to worry, it says, were you looking for the schedule? So you click that, okay? And Again, I provide you this schedule in uh, multiple formats, as a website, as a PDF file, as a Word document. Uh, I'm just going to click the PDF file here. Okay, here's the schedule, and I have some notes for you up at the top, namely uh, that every once in a while these uh, due dates may change. If so, I will announce that to you in pause. However, don't expect it. Um, just as we kind of get started here, I want you to know I am a stickler for due dates. So if I tell you something is due on a Thursday night, uh, it's due. Don't be thinking that you're going to send me an email and say, oh, just open that back up. It's not going to happen. Okay, uh, but scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, what I have tried to do is to put together on a week by week basis, where the week really runs Monday through Sunday some of the things that you need uh, to do. Uh, for example, uh, get in there, you know, read that syllabus, set up a schedule, do your introduction in pause, uh, do connect chapters one and two. You have a lot of things to do, including a, a pause orientation and pause orientation quiz. Now, I also have these due dates listed in the connect system, in the pause system, but but you might need to, um, you know, 
adjust the schedule you might have things that are due a little bit earlier uh, one thing I do and this is just my personal habit for success and you probably have some habits for success also is um, I go out and get a little calendar off of Word or you might have a desktop calendar and I jot down on that calendar uh, for example that I might need to be finished with chapter one uh, this very first week of class you know why? Because as you start to sketch out the due dates, again, they're posted everywhere. They're in the Dropbox and Pause. They're in um, your Pause calendar. They're in the Connect system, uh, all those different places. One thing that you'll notice is that your Connect homework for Chapters 1 through 4 is not due till June 14th. True story, last semester I had a young lady email me, and she said, when I saw that that homework was not due for two weeks, I just said that I had plenty of time and then she got into trouble and so she was saying to me very very sweetly very politely so what I need you to do is open up that um, you know those assignments so that I can have a couple more days well let me remind you I am a stickler for that there's a lot of reasons for that and one of the reasons is that we're preparing you for a business career uh, out in you know the the working world and due dates are not decided by you there they're decided by your boss and the key to success is to finish assignments either you know on time but preferably early so you know I think I need to be finished with chapter one here then I can do chapters two and three this week and then I can do four because see you have some other assignments due and, and we're going to talk about all this and you'll see this in the syllabus but this is one reason I, I think it's important that you could sit down with a calendar and uh, it's also the reason that I try to provide you on a weekly basis Basically, you're going to have uh, extra credit work and learning projects due one week, and your Connect homework due the next week. So every week, you do have uh, due dates uh, that are, are necessary. Okay. All right. So going back to how you know how do I prepare? I'm going to send you the links for the schedule, for the syllabus, for Connect. Now. Another very important site that we're going to use is called Pause. And I do have a series of videos. If you are unfamiliar with the course management system Pause, I have a series of videos that are available to you to watch. How to email your instructor using Pause. How to submit things into the Dropbox using Pause. And your learning projects, for example, will be uh, submitted through that Dropbox. So this may sound like a, a lot, uh, but if I go back to my list really what we're talking about is the syllabus getting set up in connect and um, planning out your schedule and then also understanding pause now when we talk about pause let me tell you a couple tips on that the way a lot of students access pause is they go to the Southwest website www.southwest.tn.edu up across the top you're going to see a link to pause. See how I click that up here? Now at this point you can log in and this site is free, it's part of your tuition, okay? But notice it says that summer classes don't begin until May 29th. So um, at this week, during this week you can look, um, I've sent you the link to the syllabus, to the schedule, as well as to connect and you can start on those things. Next week when you log in you'll see our full course information. However, reading down the page, there is an online orientation for students. You do have a little quiz uh, on this. The point of this orientation is just to ensure that you are comfortable with an online class. Probably take you about 20 minutes. You can do that now and, um, and go through the course and uh, this uh, online orientation course and get familiar. Once you have access to PAUSE, there is a brief quiz on this orientation. I give you a couple points for it. I think they're bonus points. Again, this is really to help you succeed uh, online, so I encourage you to, to go through and do this. The more comfortable you are with this environment, um, it just will be one less stressor as you continue through the semester. Okay, so uh, I'm going to send you the links and put all this together in an email. Uh, so here I am coming back up right um, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and introduce myself make sure that you have the materials you need to get ready so get the textbook get your connect access code and get set up 
and next week I'll talk to you again and I'll help you get started uh, but again I just want you to be ready to hit the ground running and um, and I look forward to a great summer semester with you thanks bye